I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. All you need to know is love. Thursday, February 4th, the reading is Galatians 5, verses 2 through 15. Now I, Paul, say to you that if you receive circumcision, Christ will be of no advantage to you. I testify again to every man who receives circumcision that he is bound to keep the whole law. You are severed from Christ. You who would be justified by the law, you have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we wait for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ, for in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision is of any avail, but faith working through love. You were running well, who hindered you from obeying the truth. This persuasion is not from him who called you. A little leaven leavens the whole lump. I have confidence in the Lord that you will take no other view than mine, and be who and he who is troubling you will bear his judgment, whoever he is. But if I, brethren, still preach circumcision, why am I still persecuted? In that case, the stumbling block of the cross has been removed. I wish those who unsettled you would mutilate themselves. For you were called to freedom, brethren. Not only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love by be the servants of one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you are not consumed by one another. Word of the Lord. The whole law is summed up in a single command. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. How do I read my Bible? A high school student asked me. I wrestled a long time with how to answer. People have been asking this question since the Bible was written. The leaders in the early church often advised people to start with the clear and obvious parts of Scripture and interpret the more difficult parts in light of those. So the Apostle Paul is following a tradition that extends at least back to Jesus' own teaching when he explains that the command to love one's neighbor as oneself summarizes the whole law. At the core of the Bible is God's love for all and we're called to love one another. If your interpretation of a scripture passage does not increase within you, within you love for others, love for God, and love for yourself, you probably have not grasped its meaning. Heart of the law is love. The law simply expands on the command to love, or in God's words, excuse me, or in Paul's words, the only thing that counts is faith working through love. Let us pray. Loving God, cultivate love within me today. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.